Hi, this is Rahul from BI Training Hub. In this video, we'll see how to create line charts in Tableau. So let's open Tableau Desktop. We'll connect to Sample Superstore Excel file. So let's go to this Connect section, click on Microsoft Excel, and we'll go to Sample Superstore file. If you have downloaded Tableau Desktop, you'll see this Sample Superstore file in My Documents, My Tableau Repository, Data Sources folder. Now, once you connect to this Excel file, we have three tabs in this Excel, Orders, Returns and People tab. We'll be using Orders tab for this analysis. So let's drag Orders tab and place it in this canvas. It will show a list of all the columns from that Orders tab. Then we'll go to this Worksheet 1 and we'll create Line Chart. To create Line Chart, we need at least one Date column. So I'll go to the Show Me section and in the Show Me section, you'll see Line Chart in 5th row and 1st column. So if you hover on this line chart, it will, it says we need at least one date column, zero or more dimensions and one or more majors. So let's create a line chart with order date and sales to understand how much sales we are getting against the order date. Let's hide the show me section. We'll go to order date. If you see this dimension section, we have order date as it is a date column. If you look at the icon next to that order date column, it shows the calendar icon. So let's drag this order date and place it in columns. Then let's drag sales and place it in rows. Whenever we drag any date column in worksheet, by default, it will be aggregated on year. Look at the color of year of order date. As it is blue, it's a discrete date. So we are getting year wise sales value for 2016, 17, 18 and 19. We can hover on these points to understand how much sales we are getting from that particular year. But what if we want to see this data with other date parts and not year? What if we want to see this graph with let's say quarter, month or day? So if you want to change the date part, you can right click on this year of order date. Once you right click on this year of order date, you will see this section where we have year, quarter, month, day and by default this year is selected. So this first section is for discrete dates. So if I select quarter from this section, right now we have date of 2016, 17, 18, 19. So if I change it to quarter, we'll have four points on X axis. Quarter one, two, three, and four. So this quarter one is quarter one of 2016 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19. This quarter two is quarter two of 16, 17, 18, 19. Like that the quarter four is quarter four of 16, 17, 18, 19. As it is a discrete date, it will have just four points on X axis. If we change this quarter to month, we will have 12 points on X axis, Jan to December. So this Jan will have Jan of 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19. Like that, this December will be December of 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19. So this graph is used when you want to understand what trend our data follows, irrespective of what year it is. So if you look at this graph, it says in November we are getting maximum sales irrespective of what year it is. In November we are getting maximum sales in overall 12 months. But now we want to understand, is it the case that in every year in November we are getting maximum sales? Is it one of the November we got maximum sales because of which this graph is maximum? To understand that, we need year along with the date part on X axis. Right now our graph is by month. Now we want to have month and year there. So if you want to convert this graph with month and year, you can right click on this month of order date again. Look at the color of month of order date. It is blue. It is a discrete date. But then if you go to this options of this month of order date, you'll have year, quarter, month, day here, which is first section that is for discrete date. Again, we have year, quarter, month, week and day. This one is a continuous value. You can see it is having month and year along with that. So if I select month from the second section, as we have four years of data and we have 12 months data, we'll have 48 points on X axis. If you click on this month of odd date from the continuous section, you will get this graph. Now, if you hover on any point, it will show January 2016, February 2016, March 2016 till December 2019. So this is a continuous date which has year along with the date part. If you look at the left bottom corner, it shows number of marks. So there are 48 marks now. We have four years of data and 12 months. So it is having 48 unique values on the view. But if you look at the x-axis, 
the x axis is not showing month it is showing year though the graph is month the graph x axis is showing year if you look at the color of month of order date now it is green because the graph is continuous as this is a continuous graph Tableau will check can we have all 48 values on x-axis so there is no space to have those 48 values on x-axis then it will check can we have three months of interval six months of interval or one year of interval based on your screen size and resolution it will put the year right now so if you hit f7 or if you go to this presentation mode your graph will get more space and it will have six months of interval so as it is a continuous graph your x-axis will change based on your screen size and resolution so this is a line chart a continuous line chart i'll just name this graph as line chart now let's go to next worksheet in next worksheet i want to change something in the current graph itself so instead of recreating the graph i'll just duplicate it right click on that line chart tab and there is option of duplicate so once we duplicate this graph, we'll have a new worksheet with the same line chart. If you change anything in this current worksheet, it won't impact on the previous one. So in this current view, we are getting sales distribution against month of order date. Now we want to understand from which category we are getting how much sales value. We want to distribute this view by category. So if you want to compare sales value for each category, we have category column in dimension. We can drag it from here and we'll put it in a row. Once we drag category in row, now we have three rows, one for furniture, second for office supplies and third for technology. And we are getting three lines to tell how much sales we are getting in each category. But if you bring category in row, it will have common X axis and it will repeat Y axis three times. As we are comparing sales value, we will not repeat y-axis three times. So let's bring this category in columns. And now we'll have three columns, one for each category, where the y-axis is fixed and x-axis is repeating three times. So we have month of order date, which is repeating three times. So when we drag category in row, we are getting common x-axis and y-axis is repeating three times. When we drag category in columns, the y-axis is common and x-axis is repeating three times what if we don't want to repeat any of the axis but we want to keep three lines here so in that case i'll drag category from column and we'll put it on color once we drag category on color we'll have three lines one for furniture second for office supplies and third for technology with the common x-axis and y-axis so that's how we can create multi-line charts to compare values side by side I'll just name this worksheet as multi-line chart. Then we'll create one more line chart. So let's go to new worksheet. Again, I'll drag order date in columns and sales in rows. And we'll change this year of order date to discrete month. So we'll have 12 values on x-axis. We have Jan, Feb, March till December. Now we want to divide this view by year to understand how many sales we are getting in each month by year. So we'll drag order date and we'll put it in row. We'll have four rows, one for each year. If you don't want to repeat Y axis, then you can drag this year of order date in columns. And now we'll have four columns, which will have common Y axis and X axis will repeat four times. Or if you don't want to repeat any of the axis, you can drag this year of order date on color and we'll have four lines, one for each year. So now we can compare in which month how much sales we are getting. So let's name this graph as line chart. Let's go back to this line chart which we have created. If we hover on each point, there is one circle there. We call it as markers. So we have markers when we highlight on any of the point. But if we want to keep markers on all the points, we can go to this color option in color we have effects in effects we have markers so the first option which is selected by default is automatic you can change this to all and you will see this marker on each point third option is none where it will remove this marker from all the points we'll keep it on all so we'll have this marker placed on each point so that's how you can create line charts in tableau there are two types of lines which will have one will be continuous line 
you can see the color of month of order date is green so this is a continuous line and second one will be the discrete line you can see the month of order date color it is blue so that is a discrete line so whenever you drag any date column in the graph by default it is aggregated on year if you want to change its date part you can right click on this date column and here you will have option of selecting discrete dates here you will have option of selecting continuous dates so that's how you can change your date part using the date column thanks for watching the video Stay tuned for more videos.